Good morning, everyone. This is course CH1, paper 1CR. I will quickly go through this paper. Uh, so I will not type the answer. I will just discuss the answers. The bug gives some methods used to separate the mixture. Chromatography, crystallization, evaporation, all these methods are given. Identify a method used to obtain a pure water from seawater. So if you want to obtain a pure water from seawater, we'll use simple distillation. Method used to separate dyes, food colors, so we will use chromatography. Identify a method used to obtain ethanol, two measurable liquids, so we use fractional distillation. Complete the sentence by writing a suitable word. When salt is added to water, stir until no more dash a saturated solution form. So until no more dissolve, the solution the salt is a solute where water is a solvent. The diagram shows the position of some elements in a periodic table. Use symbol from this to answer the question. Each symbol may be used once, more than once, and not at all. So, give a symbol for the metal. We have potassium and sodium. These are the metal, Na or K. Symbol for noble gas, He. Symbol for liquid at room temperature, bromine, Br. Give a symbol of two elements in period three. So, this is period one, two, and three. So, we have sodium and chlorine. Reduce the electronic configuration of sodium. It's having 11 electrons, so 2, 8, and 1. Discussion is about alkene, the molecular formula C3H6. So name three carbon, so it will be prop, and because of alkene, it is E. Empirical formula, the simplest ratio between 3 and 6, that is 1 is to 2. General formula, CNH2N, and displayed formula, you will draw three carbon atoms linked with hydrogen atom, and one of them will have a double bond. Alkenes are unsaturated. What is meant by unsaturated? It means the compound contain double bond. And how we can test the presence of unsaturated double bond? We can add a bromine water. It will change from orange to colorless. When alkane, such as methane, react with chlorine, a substitution, so CH4 plus Cl gives CH3Cl plus HCl. What is the name of this type of reaction? We call substitution state conditions. Condition needed ultraviolet light. When ethane reacts with chlorine, one of the product of the reaction is C2H4Cl2. There are two isomers. State what is meant by isomers. They have same molecular formula but different structure. That's why we call them as isomers. Displayed formula of C4, C2H4Cl2. So, 1, 2 dichloroethane. So, what we will do? We have to draw the isomers. So, how to draw the isomers of this? The two chlorine atom can be attached to same carbon or might attach to two different carbon. And the rest will be hydrogen. A solution of hydrogen peroxide decomposes when a catalyst such as manganese 4 oxide is added. The product of the reaction, water and oxygen. Complete a chemical equation. So we have to complete this equation. Whenever we try to balance, we start with oxygen followed by hydrogen and then other elements. So if we try to balance oxygen 2, if I put 2, four, it will make 4 and if I put 2, it will also make 4 oxygen. What about hydrogen? Hydrogen is also balanced. Give a test for oxygen, lighted splint. The glowing splint, it will relight. Lighted splint is for hydrogen, which pops. State reason for adding a catalyst. So why we are adding a catalyst? The purpose of the catalyst is to increase the rate of reaction. A student, a student investigating how concentration of hydrogen peroxide affects the rate. So you have a volume and time for the gas. Plot these results. So when you plot these results, draw a curve of best fit, ignoring anomalous 
So one of the value will appear to be not in the range, lambda. And the final volume is, this is a rough sketch, not the exact graph. One of the point will appear to be an ambulance. We will ignore that. So just a mistake that student might uh, have made to cause an ambulance result. So what student might made a mistake here. So when you plot these results or plot these graphs, so if the volume is coming out less, like example, the point where it, if the point appear to be uh, or show a smaller volume than expected one, so means student taken the reading before the time, like maybe two may, like if student is recording volume after every two minutes, so maybe he, instead of two minutes, uh, maybe he recorded after 1.5. So that may lead to an anomalous result. Determine the volume of oxygen collected in first three minutes. So using your graph as you will have a graph. So use your graph, draw a line at three minutes and find what will be the volume of the gas. According to your graph, you will answer this part. Draw on a grid curve you expect for student. Uh, student repeat the experiment using hydrogen peroxide half concentration. So if we have the concentration rate will decrease as well as amount will also decrease. Like if this was giving say TCM cube of gas, then rate will be slower and half of it like 40 cm cube of gas will be. How use uh, how using hydrogen peroxide half concentration affect the rate. So when we have the concentration, number of the particle reduce less collagen. That's why slower rate leads to lower yield as well or amount of product. The diagram shows the display formula of organic compound methanol. Determine the number of atoms in one molecule of methanol. So you just count one, two, three, four, five, six. Why methanol is not a hydrocarbon because it contains oxygen as well. What is meant by a covalent bond? So the bond which is formed by a sharing of electron and held together by the electrostatic force between the nucleus and the shared electrons. Dot and cross for methanol. So you just have to represent Structure is given, so just represent them by dot and cross diagram. There should be two lone pair oxygen belongs to group six, so share two and unshared electrons should be there on oxygen. Same figure you would draw in this case. Organic compound. So what is the empirical formula? So you will divide by atomic mass. This will be divided by atomic mass and then divide by smallest value and then either you will round off to nearest whole number or multiply by a certain factor to get. So this will be 3.225, this will be 9.7, this will be 3.225 and you divide by smallest value. So 3.225. 3.225 and 3.225. 1, 3 and 1. So empirical formula CAH3. Molecular formula, molecular mass. So empirical formula times N is equal to molecular formula. And what is N? N is molecular mass, which is given 62 divided by empirical mass. Empirical mass from empirical formula CAH3 or carbon 12 plus 315 plus 16 so that's 31 so value of n is equal to 2 if i multiply by 2 c2 h6 o2. this question is about element in group 7 of periodic table give the name of this group uh, of elements so what we call we call them as halogens uh, color of chlorine it's pale green light green 
test for uh, chlorine damn red lit damn blue litmus it will turn red and bleaches give a test to show a solution contain iodine add at acidified uh, silver nitrate or add acid followed by silver nitrate dilute acid then as it will form silver iodide it will be yellow ppt a student compare the reactivity of element bromine chlorine he mixes a pair chlorine solution with potassium bromide and bromine more reactive halogen displaces the less reactive halogen from its compound it will form bromine with iodine so bromine will also displace how reaction shows the order of reactivity include the color change so what we will observe <coughs> when we mix the first solution chlorine solution with potassium bromide the solution will turn orange why because formation of bromine and it shows that the chlorine displaces bromine chlorine is more reactive then bromine with iodine so iodine is formed and when iodine is formed in aqueous solution it is brown or yellow if it is highly high concentration it will be brown otherwise it will be yellow so bromine is it shows that bromine is more reactive than iodine a student uh, uses the reaction between zinc and dilute sulfuric acid to prepare crystals first we have to complete the state symbol so metal solid acid aqueous uh, the salt most sulfates are soluble except calcium barium and lead so this will be aqueous and hydrogen will be a gas observation whenever a gas is given off so you'll see bubbles a student had access why it is necessary to add an excess of zinc so that to make sure all of the acid reacted and we we are left with only the salt solution rather than a mixture of salt solution and acid diagram you remove unreacted so you have to do a filtration apparatus relative molecular mass so your mass of each element in the compound that add that you will get the relative molecular mass like zinc is 65 sulfur is 32 oxygen is 16 multiplied by this is 4 plus uh, 11 oxygen are there plus hydrogen 1 multiplied by 14 so this will give you relative molecular mass which is 287 student uses 0 0.02 mole of sulfuric acid the maximum mass of zinc crystal that could be obtained is about four grams so this is a practice we have to show that that this is a mass so first using a moles we can use a mole ratio as it is given in the ratio is one is to one so we'll get same moles of zinc sulfate one is to one is a ratio so same moles of zinc sulfate and multiply by molar mass so mole 0 0.02 and molar mass of zinc sulfate hydrated it's 287 so when we multiply we'll get uh, 0 0.02 multiplied by 287 we'll get 5.87 grams so that's practically we're getting 5.87 theoretically we should get six the student obtain a mass of 4.28 Percentage yield. So percentage yield is a practical value divided by theoretical. This six gram is not the sorry. Uh, this six gram is not the theoretical value because we have to show it's about six. So five point eight seven is about six. So practical value we are getting two point uh, four point two eight. Theoretical value your answer five point eight seven into one hundred. You will get the percentage yield. A piece of magnesium ribbon ignited burn observation when magnesium is burned in oxygen excess of oxygen so we'll see a white flame and magnesium oxide is a white powder why is oxidation reaction because it is addition of oxygen or it's a loss of electron by magnesium state what is meant by term exothermic a chemical reaction which release energy magnesium oxide react with carbon so a displaced Magnesium is reacting with carbon dioxide, so magnesium is more reactive. A piece of magnesium is placed in a gas jar. 
of so magnesium is more reactive always a more reactive element displaces less reactive so it result in a formation of magnesium oxide plus carbon a fire start in a warehouse where magnesium is stored why it is not uh, why it would not be suitable to use carbon dioxide fire extinguisher so why it will not be suitable because magnesium is more the carbon dioxide will not put out the fire as large amount of heat or thermal energy would be release as the reaction is also exothermic a student uses a apparatus as shown uh, explain two changes that student should make to obtain the mass of magnesium oxide closer than the ex to expected value so what student should do to obtain the mass closer to the expected value so what he should do like he should lift the lid and allow oxygen to enter so that it will react completely and he should uh, heat it and reheat again until the mass is constant to make sure all of the magnesium is reacted so open the lip time to time and um, heat to constant mass to make sure all of the magnesium is reacted this question uh, when carbon dioxide dissolve in water weak acid form what is the ph of the weak acid because it's a weak acid form so ph of weak acid is these two are the acidic solutions of so weak one is 5 please answer which uh, which uh, of these is correct statement about the acids acids are proton donors lead to carbonate is heated lead oxide in carbon dioxide form what type of reaction is this so this is a thermal decomposition and it gives lead oxide plus carbon dioxide silicon oxide and silicon tetrachloride formulas are given state at room temperature room temperature if you take 25 that 25 will come between so that should be liquid explain in terms of structure and bonding silicon dioxide has much higher than silicon four chloride so what is the reason for that one is having a giant silicon dioxide has a giant covalent structure it's having strong covalent bond that's an overall covalent bonds are there need greater amount of energy to break the bond where silicon 4 chloride is a simple molecular structure weak force between the molecule less energy is needed to separate the molecules from each other that's why it's having a low boiling point student uses this apparatus give a word equation for reaction potassium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid gives potassium chloride plus water why the student need to stir the mixture so to have a uniform to have a uniform temperature throughout that's why the temperature mean how you will take an average add them and divide it by 2 you will get the mean the thermometer reading initial and final um so final at the end what is the thermometer reading is shown in the figure it showed 22.4 21.22 each is 0.2 so 22.4 and the difference will be 17.2 then show that the energy q is equals to cm delta t you can find that energy and energy divided by number of the moles you will get enthalpy change per mole so this was unit 4ch paper 1c oh.